Nope. Not gonna mess with him. What's up, my peoples? M. Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Cybertron Metroplex! So here we are, and there he is, and usually, first and foremost, I would take a quick look at the packaging, but I bought this loose from uh, Dresden Nova on Twitter, so I didn't get any original packaging, but I do, I do have the box he was shipped in, and uh, his lady friend... Actually, uh, did some artwork on the box here. She turned the Mandarake logo into Sand Pac Man! And cool, he shops at Mandarake. Yay! I love them. Um, on this side, they drew <laughs> my logo. On the other side, she drew, uh, Lori Plans, old, uh, old cat logo. That was her original logo. On the bottom of the box, they wrote, uh, a little quote here, la 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 la, I'm gonna make you popular. Apparently that's from uh, Wicked, that's what they told me that was from, I never saw it, so I didn't get that one, but hey. <laughs> uh, right here, P.S. Palm in your face, in case of review, toss this. It will be tossed! Yay! There you go. <laughs> so thank you for the artwork on the packaging, I appreciate it very much. But anyway, Let's take a look at this big guy right here. That's right, because we're going back in time, yeah. I have to stop singing. I really do. I can't. I, I just need to not do that ever again. Jeez. But anyway, so here we have Cybertron Metroplex. And he is a big boy. And he is a figure that I wanted for a very, very long time. And Dresden Nova was selling here for a very good price. And I was like, I'll take it, please. I'll take it. And, uh, yeah. Very cool figure. Um, so here he is. He is a uh, a, a, a mining vehicle. Um, <laughs> and I use quotation fingers when I say that because it's... Sure, I mean, it just looks like a robot on his hands and knees. Like he's doing... Well, it's, it's like Metroplex is doing yoga right now. It's basically what, you know... It's clear what are the arms, what are the legs. You know, he's just... He's just kind of doing some yoga. He's getting his exercise. You know, getting a good sweat going. You know, hey. Hey. Why not? Dare I say why not? But here he is. And uh, lots of nice details here. Got the treads here all done up. You do get some red paint apps here. Um, lots of molded details throughout. There you have the, uh, the cockpit right up there. Just to kind of give a sense of how, how massive this vehicle is. That You know, that's the cockpit. Um, again, you got the treads in the back. And some nice molded details throughout this armature right here um so uh now i didn't get any instructions for this and it's actually quite difficult to find proper instructions online for this guy so i watched a couple reviews um i believe this is the proper transformation for the arms to leave them slid back like this but i saw a lot of videos where people had them slid in like that and that does look kind of better um you know makes everything look a little bit more compact and not so much like he's doing yoga so uh you know i guess it it's, it is a, a little bit left up to personal preference as well, how you prefer those arms. But I believe that's the proper transformation. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But, hey, it's your toy. Do whatever you want with it. You want the arms slid forward, slide them forward. You want them slid back, slide them back. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I don't care what you do with it. It's your toy. Do what you want with it. But, um, yeah, that. You have this piece right here that does spin right there and this armature does have three separate joints on it nice ratcheting joints i can just pop this off actually to show this off you do have a joint right here nice clickety clackety joint another one right here and another one right there loud ratchet joints man <laughs> you also get this bucket right here that can open and close it's on a hinge here to pivot up and down open and close and yeah very, very cool weapon. There's your battery compartment right there, because you do get some lights and sounds out of this. And you just have two pegs right there, you just plug into the ports. Right up there. And when you have this piece plugged in, this piece itself can rotate. Again, on a ratchet joint. Everything on this is ratchet joints. So, you have that. You also have some pegs 
right here too. So if you want to take this and bring this back a little bit more, you can. Or if you want to turn this completely around, you could plug it in that way. So, again, totally up to you how you want to display them. Like I said, it's your toy. Do what you want with it. Do what you want. So you have that. He does have wheels, so he does roll fairly well. Kind of, sort of, maybe. He does still kind of drag more than roll, but eh, it's a thought that counts. Now he does come with his Minicon right here. This is a uh, drill bit, I believe his name is. You can see just a little drilling, uh, like a little drill tank. See a little gold cockpit right here. None of the drill bits don't move at all. Um, he does have wheels, he does roll. And uh, he does plug onto the bucket right here, just a little, you can see what I'm doing. There is a little uh, bit cut out for drill bits right there. He just nestles in there ever so comfortably, ever so nicely. So you just plug him in right there, and he is incorporated into the alt mode. He does have a ton of Minicon ports. He has a Minicon port right there, Minicon ports, Minicon port, Minicon ports, Minicon port, Minicon ports, Minicon ports, and the same ports on the other side. So he has a lot of Minicon ports. You can plug a lot of little dudes on him. So there you have that. So, I guess we'll just get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, let's just take drill bit off here. We'll transform him in a little bit. But we'll focus on Metroplex right now. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll transform drill bit right now because he is very, very simple. Transform him, you just extend the legs down. You take the drill bits and you just flip them up behind his legs and you take his arms, just rotate them all the way around like that. And there he is in the robot mode. You know, a fairly decent robot mode for a minicon of the time. Let's see if we can focus on his face. Here you go. Pretty nice face, nice silver paint. You get some silver on the chest. You get some gold detailings there. There you go. He's he's a minicon. He's a little dude. He's just a little dude. Um, Articulation-wise, his arms can only rotate. Like that, legs can go forward and back, and he does have a knee joint that could, that works when you uh, you have to move the drill bit out of the way to get his knees to work. They could bend the other way too, so if you want to break his legs, you can totally do that if you want. But there he is. And just so you can see him in robot mode next to Metroplex, there he is. He's just a little guy. He's a little guy. Oh, and just for some other size comparisons before I transform him, actually. Uh, here he is with... Uh, Cybertron Optimus, so you can see how, how they scale, so there you have that, and just for something uh, more recent, to give you a sense of his size, there he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime, so you can see how that scales right there. Just to give you an idea of his size. So there you go. So now we'll get down to transformation. So we just want to take this and put this off to the side. Now he does have the, the, another mode. He basically has two robot modes. And I use another mode with quotation fingers because it's just kind of... You just half transform him and they call it another mode. But... First thing you want to do is you want to come here, you want to take these uh, these blue pieces that are tabbed in right here, these little blue armatures, just untab those, and just fold, fold those back. Yeah, like that. And once you do that, you just want to take this section right here, and you want to rotate this up. And again, everything is a ratchet on this guy. So you want to do that. And then you just want to take this whole body section here, straighten it out, bring your legs up, again, nice meaty ratchet joints, and I have to raise the camera because this guy gets very, very tall, so, and Justin is, uh, his other robot mode, uh, <laughs> he does get quite tall, now you gotta take the shoulders and slide them forward on that slider, bring the arm down, like that, split the legs, just unpeg them, and then you take 
these side pieces here is blue pieces and you just bring them down bring up these little antennas rotate the head and there you go there is his uh, his first robot mode which again is he's just half transformed um, <laughs> and this is Metroplex the, the stumpy legged version um, <laughs> Now, I believe officially this is called the work mode. I've heard some people call this the brute mode Brute mode also. So, I, I don't exactly know which is the official term. I think in the instructions they call it the work mode. That's what I heard a couple of people say in their reviews. But, um, yeah, it's basically just him half, half transformed. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Here he is with uh, Combiner Wars... Voyager Prime, just so you can see how he scales in this mode with uh, a recent Voyager. So you have that. Uh, here he is with Cybertron Prime in his, you know, in his, in his base mode. Right there. You can see how that scales. And uh, here he is with uh, G1 Metroplex. Cause of pressure, so so pressure. So, there you go. He's actually almost the same height. Maybe a, a hair shorter than uh, G1 Metroplex. So. There you have that. So there is his first mode. And now we'll get on to his full-on robot mode. And to get there, you're just going to take the legs and uh, finish extending them. So you're just going to take this, bring that back like that, and bring this around. He has musical joints. Right there, and this will just lock in right there, like that, and just bring that leg down. Second verse, same as the first. Just bring that up, bring that around, tab that in, bring that leg down, rotate him at the waist, 180, like that. Raise the camera up again, because he gets pretty stinking tall. Come on, man. Come on, man. There we go. Now you want to raise these blue pieces up because you need to do that for clearance. And you're going to take this piece and you're going to bring it all the way back like that. And then you can take this whole torso section and rotate it up like that. And that will lock into place. And then you can bring this back down like that. And bring those blue pieces back. He's tall. He's too tall. Bring those blue pieces back down on his shoulders. Rotate the arms down, slide them up. Like that. Around, slide it up. And there you go. There you have Metroplex in his full on robot mode. I believe they call this the, the battle mode. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a big boy. He's very big. He's skinny, he's lanky, but he still looks like he will kill you with one punch. So, hey. But, uh, there you go. Let's just get in closer on the head sculpt so you can see. Nice head sculpt. Let's kind of invoke uh, a little bit of the G1 Metroplex. He does have very nice light piping, too. Eyes glow a very nice red. Again, overall nice design. Nice Autobot symbols right there on the shoulders. And again, lots of nice molded details. Very, very cool. You do get some silver paint apps in there. And very, very nice. He's got big feet, so you know he's stable, if anything. He's got some big old feet. But yeah, very, very cool. Um, Articulation-wise, his head can rotate into a full 360. You got rotation here on the shoulders, ratchets, ratcheting outward movements. You even get a ratcheting bicep swivel. Yes. Ratcheted elbows, the hands can open and close. Ratcheted waist joints, legs can go forward on a ratchet, back on a ratchet, in and out on a ratchet. Ratcheted thigh swivel. Ratcheted knee joint with nice range of movement there. You could break the shin if you want and make music with it if you want. And his feet can, hey, you stay. His feet can pivot up and down if you don't disengage everything else, which I'm doing, but uh, these are on a ratchet as well. They only go, unfortunately, they only go 
backwards. They don't move forward. That's why I was breaking his ankles there. Because they only move backwards, but... Still a little bit of movement there. And yeah, he's a big boy. Very, very, very big boy. I think I'm standing straight now. Hey, you stand. You stand right there. So there you have that. Now, of course, he does have his big weapon right here. You just want to take this and straighten everything out. And you want to open up this bucket right here. Now we can get it to stand. And of course, he does include the Cyber Planet key done in a nice transparent purple with some gold paint on the trim there and some gold chrome right there for the symbol itself. On the back you do get that little that little, uh, little code right there. I forget what that was used for. Um, but yeah, has a Cyber Planet key right there because you do get some lights and sounds with this. Now you want to make sure that this piece is facing the right way. You want this little red arrow pointing upward so you have in the proper orientation. And just to show this off a little bit better, I love the gold paint that they used here. Very, very nice. And again, lots of nice molded detailing right there. Just wanted to make sure I showed that off properly. Not painted on the other side, but still. What paint is on it does look very, very nice. So, Anyway, to activate the lights and sounds, you want to take this bit right here, push it up. That will open up those blue pieces, opening up the port for your Cyber Planet key. Take the key, slide it in. And then push it up, and you'll get... And it opens up, and you get this little bit right here with a little red light in it. Don't know how well that's coming across, but we'll do it again. There you go. A little red light, a little activation noise. Right there. And he does have a handle right there. It has posts on either side, so we can hold it in his left or his right hand. It's only up to you. And just open his hands up. And... Of course, he has a port right there in his palm. Just take it, plug it in, and he can hold his weapon. Oops. This can be a little bit hard to do when you're doing this at arm's length with a camera under your chin, but there we go. And there you go. There he is with his weapon. Now, <laughs> the staff does kind of throw his balance off a little bit. You can see it's kind of making him, it makes him droop a little bit. So usually what I do is I take the bucket here and I close it up because that way it's actually touching the floor a bit better. And that gets him standing up straight. Like that, so that works a bit better because when the bucket's open it actually doesn't touch the floor when he's holding it. So I kind of, uh, I, I feel that's the way it works best just to keep him from leaning. Um, obviously he's very, as you can see, he's He's not a very thick robot. He's very he's very skinny. He's very thin from the side, you know. But uh from the front looks like a, a very massive robot. I mean he is a massive robot. I mean he's freaking huge. He's huge. Now we'll put drill bits back into his alt mode here. Because the way he gets displayed is let's put him back into his little drill tank mode here. Actually, you want to bring this, you want to leave his legs straightened out, and you have the port right there. And you just take it and plug it onto his forearm there. So now he has a drill weapon on his arm. Or you can plug it onto any of the numerous Minicon ports that he has on him. Totally up to you. You can even leave him attached to the, uh, attached to the, to the bucket if you want. Totally up to you. And there you go. And for comparison, here he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime. So you can see how he scales there. With the recent Voyagers, uh, here he is with Defensor. You can see how he scales with a Combiner Wars combiner there. So, there you have that. Uh, here he is with Cybertron Prime in his super mode. The wings on mine are always loose. There we go. So you have them with Cybertron Prime. Right there. And what else have we got? Of course, here he is with G1 Metroplex. No, he's a lot taller than G1 Metroplex because it's pressure. Metro pressure. So there you have that. 
And uh, d how does he compare with, with, with Generations Metroplex? Here he is with Generations Metroplex. There you go. It's a lot of Metroplex. It's too much Metroplex. <laughs> so there you have that. And uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, here he is with uh, Leader Magnus. As you can see, how he scales with a Combiner Wars Leader class figure. So. There you go. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, Cybertron Metroplex, very cool figure. Uh, this is a figure I've been wanting for a long time, and and really happy that uh, Dresden Nova. Had one to sell, and he was selling it for a very good price, so thank you very much, Dresden Nova. You rock, man! Thank you very much, and also thanks to your lady friend for uh, doing the artwork on the box. That was, that was just precious. That was precious. Artwork precious. But yeah. <laughs> very cool. So, um, yeah. Neat figure. I dig it. I dig it very much. He looks very nice on my Cybertron shelf. And uh, I dig him. I dig him. I dig him. I dig him. I, and it just, like... Messing with this toy, it just reminds me that wow, they don't they don't make them like this anymore. Because <laughs> I mean, this guy is just full of ratchet joints, and he is you know he has uh, some heft to him. I think he weighs more than Combiner Wars Devastator. <laughs> Actually, anything weighs more than Combiner Wars Devastator. But yeah, very nice, very nice toy, very cool. Um, definitely worth hunting down if you're interested in this in any way shape or form he's definitely worth hunt uh, worth hunting down um, very 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 cool figure so if you would like any transformers figures you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com they do have a wide variety of transformers figures to purchase so you can always check them out link is in the description down below so check it out and you can also check out my Cybertron playlist. I think I made a Cybertron playlist. If I didn't, I'm wrong. But I think I made a playlist for Cybertron toys. I could be wrong, but I will link to a playlist that does have my other Cybertron figures in it. So, And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Cybertron Metroplex. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs> Metroplex! Jeez, man! Seriously! Do you have to be so tall? Sorry. Better. Much better, thank you! Geesh! Hate you tall bots, really, really do. Anyway, I need your help with something. What can I do for you, sir? There's something really high up on a shelf that I can't reach, um... Need you to get it for me. But... But you just said I was too... <sighs> Sometimes I don't get you, sir. What? What's the get? I'm awesome! <laughs>